Hi, I'm Ryan from STEMI Stuff. You know, in our electric guitar in a bag kit, one of the nicest pieces is this pre-wound pickup coil. The pickup coil is just a very fine copper wire wound around in a spool more than a thousand times. Doing this with kids in a classroom or in a club setting is a little challenging. And so being able to purchase this thing already done not only saves you a ton of time, it saves you a lot of troubles, and it makes your guitars more successful more easily. However, you don't have to buy this. We also sell the things that you need in order to wind your own pickups. And depending on the class and what your goals are, you may want to have your kids wind their own pickups. And so I'm here with you today to show you how to do that. Here are a few items that you're going to need in order to complete your pickup. You'll need some masking tape, a bottle of super glue, a strong magnet, it doesn't really matter what size, two circles that are cut out of cardstock, one inch in diameter, uh, some winding wire, pickup winding wire is 42 gauge wire, you'll need two one foot lead wires stripped on both ends, just a tiny bit of electrical tape, some beeswax to pot the pickup. We nest two beakers together to make a double boiler to melt the beeswax in. You'll also need an electrical multi-tool called a wire stripper. Some helping hands sure won't hurt. A soldering iron and some solder. And a multimeter. It also is helpful to have a plastic or a wooden knife. Alright, let's get to the task at hand. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I told you to just cut some circles one inch diameter out of cardstock and that works great. That's what I would recommend. I'm going to try to do it with these clear plastic circles that I've cut out of a piece of transparency film and that's going to hopefully make it a little more visible for you as we go along. You're going to take your super glue, make a dot of super glue in the middle of that circle. Set your magnet and try and get it as center as possible. The same thing on the top. You're trying to make a bobbin on which you're going to wind that wire. Next you're going to want to take about a foot of that 42 gauge winding wire and wrap it around the tip of a pencil or a pen into a nice little coil that you can tape to one side of your pickup bobbin. And now comes the fun part. We are going to take this wire and wrap it around the magnet on the inside of this bobbin about 1500 times. There's nothing magical about 1500. We just had good success with about that number of reps. If something goes crazy and you have to stop a little early, it's no big deal. There's no good way to do this. You just sit here and you get comfortable and you wrap and wrap and wrap. A couple of suggestions I guess would be to keep your hands above the spool of wire that you're feeding off. Uh, it tends to make it feed off of there smoothly and also I keep a piece of paper handy and I stop every a hundred wraps in order to just check things over and make sure things are going well and then I do another hundred and I make a mark so I can keep track of how far I've gone. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's just a hundred. Check things over and make sure that you haven't miswound it or gone around the outside. Crazy things happen. I also then take it and change hands and then I'll wind the other, uh, the, the other side of the spool. What you can see here is after just a few hundred wraps, the layer of copper wire is starting to build up around that magnet. If you switch which hand you wind in, you can make it even across the whole magnet. You want to talk about classroom management. This is keeping kids busy and out of trouble. That's 500. Thousand to go. This wire is about as thick as a human hair and probably not as strong. It breaks really easily. This is careful, tedious work 
in order to do a good job of it, you got to take your time. It's something that not, it's not for every classroom, which is why we sell the pre-made pickup coils. Uh, but there is something to be learned, I think, about induction, or maybe not learned, but never forgotten about induction by sitting here and winding this thing 1,500 times around a magnet. That's lucky 1300. One thing I should mention about this is that the spool I'm using is pretty big. We sell our spools in small enough sizes that you can get a classroom set and you can have a dozen kids winding at one time rather than having to wait for everybody to wind on this one spool. That's 1500 right there. I recommend taking about a foot of extra wire and clipping it off at that point and setting this aside. Now what you're going to do is take this loose end, wrap it around a pen or pencil just like you did when you started, and you are going to take that coil and tape it to the other side of the spool until you can get the lead wires soldered on. When you're ready to solder, carefully untape the winding wire from the side of the pickup and untangle it. If you haven't already stripped the ends of your lead wires, make sure you do that and then bend the end of the lead wires into a U-shape. You can take that U-shape and clamp it into the helping hands easily and it's going to make winding it around the pickup later a lot easier. You then have to take your enameled pickup wire and wind it around the end of the lead wire several times until it stays on its own. Then you're going to take your soldering iron and solder and make the joint. The pickup wire is actually enameled and you should have to strip it or burn that enamel off, but the soldering iron is hot enough to accomplish that, so you'll get a good connection. When you have both of the lead wires soldered onto the ends of the winding wire, you're going to want to take a small piece of electrical tape and insulate one of those connections. You only have to do one so that when the two ends touch, you don't get a short between the two of them. You're not going to want a big piece of tape hanging onto that wire, so when you're done, snip off the extra with the scissors. Now comes the most stressful time in the process. You've done so much work, and this is the time when you're most likely to break your pickup. Carefully wind up the winding wire until the lead wire is wound around the pickup for one whole turn. If you've bent U's into your lead wires, it makes this process much easier. Take your time and be gentle and careful. When you get both wires wrapped around, use a piece of tape to tie them together. Now before you celebrate, you're going to want to check to make sure this thing works. Take your multimeter, turn the dial to the continuity setting. Take the test leads from your multimeter and hold it on either one of the leads coming out of your pickup. If continuity shows, you're good to go. Beeswax melts at about 65 degrees Celsius. In order to get it there, we place a small beaker filled with beeswax inside of a larger beaker that's got some water onto a hot plate on a medium-high setting for about an hour. And it'll be about 65 to 70 degrees. You don't want it to get too hot or it's too runny. Hold the pickup under the beeswax for about 30 seconds. Then slowly pull it out. You'll have a thin coating of wax all around the pickup. Let the pickup cool off for several minutes. You don't want to put it back in right away when it's still warm. We dunk the pickup in wax in order to hold everything securely. Your pickup gets a lot sturdier and because of that it sounds a lot better as well. It usually takes three dunks before there's a good amount of wax. At this point you can scrape the excess wax off the outside of the pickup with a plastic knife. We learned the plastic knife trick the hard way. If you use a metal knife, your pickup will stick to it. In the process of trying to get it off, you can break your pickup. Get it cleaned up so that you can glue it into your guitar easily.
Well, there you have it. It's a homemade hand wound guitar pickup. It made in about an hour. It took me a little over an hour in order to film this entire piece. So I think that you can probably do it in under an hour if you get your stuff ready and get started right away. Uh, it's up to you. Depending on what kids you have in your class and what your goals are, you can wind these pickups by hand and we've got all the components that you need in order to do that. Or you can buy your pickup already wound, pop a magnet into the middle of that bobbin and you're ready to rock and roll. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you keep it stemmy. Now before you really do anything with a pickup, here's something you really got to try. Find yourself a D-cell battery and uh, just a screw. This is just a drywall screw. Stick the magnet onto the end of that screw and you're going to make the world's simplest electric motor. It'll stick to the bottom of the D-cell battery and if you take that wire and touch it to the top and then to the bottom of that magnet, that thing goes crazy. I want to thank Mike Heidke from Nina High School for showing me this thing. Uh, if you want to know how it works, uh, look up the right hand rule and how it works with uh, magnetic fields around a conducting wire. And what will happen if you do this upside down? Pay attention. Try it out.